Hey, what's up everyone? So today we're going to be doing a lesson here involving the Google Maps API and we're going to also use the USDA's Farmer's Market API. Uh, we're going to use that to pull in data so that we can actually feed that onto the map and plot all the farmers markets across the country. Um, so we have a couple different services uh, available to us. This one here is uh, the USDA's Farmers Market Directory API and it does um, just that. It pulls the directory information and gives us information about different um, farmers markets, the name, the address, uh, what they sell, that kind of thing. And of course the Google Map uh, API. So we're going to take this, we're going to take the data return from the USDA API and we're going to create this project right here. So what the user will be able to do is one of two things. They can either use um, their current location which is a geolocation feature that's going to pinpoint the computer and it's going to plot the different uh, points across um, their area or they can search by a zip code. So I'll show you a sample of both of those and uh, we'll be creating this whole thing from scratch um, and I'll show you all of it as we go along. So the first feature here is the current location. You click that and there you go. So I'm in Northern California here and what it's doing is it's showing me all the different locations in my area. So if you click on any of these it's going to give us a uh, info window, a nice pop-up that has the name of the market, the address, what it's selling, and the hours. And uh, you can click through on all these ones here and you can see the different information that's returned and of course each market is going to have different information um, and this all just depends on what was provided from or what was returned from the API. So you can click through, you can see all the information that's returned and so we need to have a little styling work here that we have to do but you get the idea. So that's one option for the user or what the user can do is search by zip code. So you simply click the button and it's going to reveal a nice text box there. You can simply type in another zip code. So say we want to look in San Jose 95123 and hit enter. And there it is. So here's the city of San Jose and these are all the farmer markets that are in the general area and the same idea. You click on any of the markers and it's going to pull up the information about the um, specific farmer's market and there you have it. So the way this works is we're going to um, Let's go to our text editor here. We've basically got one page. That's all it is, our index.html. And this is going to contain a couple of divs. We have a div with an ID of control and a div with an ID of map-canvas. And what those relate to are, if we go back here and look at our sample, this bluish background area here, this is the control div and obviously this is the map div over here. That's all it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to focus on creating the JavaScript portion of it. I'm not going to go through line by line all the HTML here. Um, you can you know, look at what you see here on screen and you can see what's going on here. I'm also going to post this to GitHub. So if you do want to download this, you can do so by going to GitHub and pulling the information down. So don't bother, you know, copying this line for line and, you know, stressing over it. You can have all the source files. You can do whatever you want with them. They'll be on GitHub and I'll post that down below. You'll have the link for that. Uh, we also have a couple other files in the project and that's going to be our reset.css um, and our style.css. Now the style is a basic um, responsive design so we've got a couple media queries here. There's one for tablets and desktop and there's one down below here as well for phones and we're setting our max width here to 360. 
we're not using any kind of framework. We're not using um, anything crazy like that. This is all from scratch, and um, we're keeping it pretty light, pretty basic. The only things we're really going to be using here um, are the jQuery library here and the jQuery UI library. And of course, we're going to be using the um, Google Map API as well as the USDA API. Um, the jQuery UI is optional here. The only thing that's going to be doing is um, that simple reveal here on the zip code. So you click there and it's going to reveal the text box. That's all it's doing. So choose what you want, use what you want, but that's what we have right now. So in the second movie, what we'll do is we will dig into our map.js file. And this is going to be the heart of the project. This is where everything's going to take place. Um, we're going to go over covering everything from using the, um, the Google Map API, how to actually add markers, how to um, set your, your window to a, a zoom level that's going to um, zoom right into the location. So, uh, for example, if we go back here, obviously we have a full view of the United States and when you hit the button it's going to plot the points and it's going to reset the actual zoom level to an appropriate size. I'll show you how to do all that and a little bit more. So take a look at the next movie and we'll start digging right into it.